So, here it is, man. I'm really doing it. I'm really doing it. I was thinking about it, and I've been thinking about it, and I've been thinking about it, and I'm really doing it. I'm making a show. I'm making the show. Welcome to the Malcolm Cook Show. For real. Welcome. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessing y'all. It's real. It's happened now. Um, I'm Malcolm Cook. I'll be your host. Um, on this show, we'll talk about everything. Everything. I'm going to talk about uh, being a, a, a cameraman in L.A. I'm going to talk about being a father. I'm going to talk about being a, a boyfriend slash fiance man. I'm going to talk about the streets. I'm going to talk about everything. I'm going to just get y'all hip to everything that I know. And if I can share something or teach somebody something along the way, sign me up. You know what I mean? So I know that there's a lot of internet personalities or YouTube videos and Instagram shit that just got me hip to something that I just didn't think about or didn't know. And I know that I have a plethora of gems, you know what I'm saying, that I would love to share with the world. Today, I'm going to talk about being a black dad, like my personal experience of being a black dad, dealing with my child's mom, um, us not being together, uh, how I navigate, and um, what's gotten me through tough moments and good moments. Um, I'm not going to wrap y'all up too long, but it's definitely something that I would love to share. Um, so, first of all, I have a five-year-old daughter named Zuri Cook. Um, she is, whew, like... One of the coolest people, like not kids, people, like ever, man. Like she's, she, she treats me, she treats me with, like she look at me like, like you my, like you my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, and I never knew, I never knew, like you know, you hear people talk about that bond between parent and child and shit, but it's smack different when you actually get to, to see what it really looks like. You know, um, it really. It, it opens up a sense of responsibility, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, in man time, you don't really know that you can tap into, you know what I'm saying? So, I had my kid when I was 22 years old, um, me and her mom made her out of love, she was a love child, um, we didn't work out for whatever reasons, we didn't work out, but I'll save that for another story. Um, I'll have to consult with my child's mom if I can talk about it first <laughs> in the details that I'd like to talk about it. But, you know, we had a lot of, we had a lot of ups and downs and, you know, it was times where I was wrong. Um, it was times where she was wrong and uh not me trying to like um deflect or anything like that, but now that we are on great terms, uh there's a lot of things that I know that we've could have done differently, but um I can honestly say that I was in a situation that I was put in that, you know, uh, kind of sucked, you know. Um, dudes dudes take L's too, you know. It's not always the guy's a piece of shit and woo. Sometimes dads have to deal with some, you know, wild circumstances that aren't, that they don't make up for themselves, you know what I mean? And, um, and me being so young, it was, like, super hard for me to, I didn't know who to talk to about it, you know, besides my dad. And my dad has, you know, a certain outlook on things that, you know, come from a different place than me. Because me and my dad are too, so different. Um, so I kind of felt like I was just here trying to navigate through it on my own. But um, my family always had my back as far as the kid. But I'm talking about as far as dealing with her mother. You know what I mean? So, because it's like, you know, when you're, when you're a dad and you got a baby girl... Uh, mom's right, no matter what you're talking about, and I was like, damn, like, y'all don't care about none of my grievances, you don't care about none about how I'm talking about, no, bro, don't give a fuck, <laughs> and that's what it's like sometimes for dads, but, uh, how I, how I learned to, to deal with my grievances and how to navigate through my grievances is, um, patience, and removing myself from situations where I don't got to get too crazy and, um, you know, keeping first and foremost, for, for, first and foremost, force, keeping first and forced, fourth most. Fuck it. I give up on that one. First and foremost. Is that what it is? Whatever. Keeping, keeping first in my brain that my daughter is my priority. So I don't care about 
what her mother talking about. I don't care about what attitude I got to catch. I'm going to take these on the chin. You know what I'm saying? Um, because my kid, you want to, you want, I want to, I want to, I want to treat my kid with so much love and respect that um, I got to put all toxicity around me to the side because and, and to maintain my personal mental strength to be able to navigate her through the world. Because if I'm fucked up, it was times where me and her mom weren't getting along and I'm fucked up and I'm yelling and, you know, and we're yelling and that doesn't make a healthy environment for your child. That's not leadership. You know what I'm saying? So uh, now that we're not together, or whatever, we've, 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 we've grown into a really cool place of co-parenting to respect each other. Because, yo, um, being a dad requires quality time, bro. Money and all that other shit. You need to navigate through your kid. Don't get it Confucius at all. But uh, you gotta you gotta bless your kid. You gotta look out for your kid. Like it's just certain things that I get to teach her in a day that I just know her mom not even hip to to get her hip to. You know what I'm saying? And um, but you also gotta have the respect and understanding that that kid is their own person. You know what I'm saying? And you can't project as a parent. You know what I mean? Like, you can't get mad at your kid for not cleaning up and you don't clean up. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, just little practical things like that. And um, being a dad for me has taught me uh, a lot of patience. Like, my daughter isn't very difficult at all. You know what I'm saying? But just patience in the sense that it's like, oh, I'm 23 and my, my man hitting me up and we want to hit the move. And it's like, nah. I'm about to be in the crib with my with my babe. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so after me and her mom weren't together, uh, I remember the first night that I wasn't with my kid, and that shit sucked like crazy, bro. It really sucked. Then the, the first night I spent not having my kid, and we weren't in a place where it's like, oh, you can't see your kid or like my. I love my baby mother for the fact that year to date, and I know it's not going to change because I'm putting that in the ether. We've never used our kid as collateral. You know what I'm saying? So I'm super blessed in that juncture that I didn't never have the mother of my child, no matter what we were going through, use my kid as a collateral. Um, she used to, she, she used to, she, I lied. She used to let the kids collateral to get me to like come back in the house, like, hurry up, man. Zuri need to do that. Or, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm talking about never use the kid as collateral as, like, you can't see my kid because X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? But on man time, um, I went out of my way after she after we weren't together to, like, make sure that uh, it didn't have to ever come to that. You know, I'm like, just because we're not together, um, I'm blessing my kid no matter what. So here's X amount of dollars per month or per week or whatever you need. Um, if you need more than that and I got it, I got you. Don't even question it. Uh, I want to have Zuri on X, Y, Z days. Uh, if... You got something going on and it comes up. Don't question me. Like, there are no questions. Just bring her through to me. Um, and I'm super grateful that my family, my mom and my grandmother, uh, they and my dad and my little brother and my aunts. I got a village. They all blessed me and my daughter when her mom had to work, even though we weren't together. Or You know, my daughter was always around um, a lot of people that loved her. You know what I'm saying? And sorry, she is around a lot of people that love her. But at the time, it was like I didn't know what I didn't, you know, as you're going through something, you don't really understand what it is because I've never been through the situation. So I'm like, oh, this is a little bit easier to navigate because I have a love zone. You know what I'm saying? I got somebody to get me hip to how to make sure the temperature of the bottle is right. You know what I'm saying? And, and things like that. But um, spending time with my kid on my own now, um, she's on her way here right now. Uh, we live in California. And um, I'm realizing, man, I, I, in, parent, in parenting her, I'm realizing she don't give a fuck about what I'm talking about for real. What she really care about is what she peep, what she sees me doing, what she sees around her, what she see my actions are. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she's emulating. So me being her father, I like to, I like to have her see me doing things that I feel like are emulatable. Um, like me and her go on hikes and we go to the park and I and I jump on the climbing bars on you know on the on the jungle bars with her and when I'm home and I can't hang out with her, 
um, and I'm doing stuff like this, like you know what I'm saying. Uh, I let her see me doing it, you know. I like I like I let her see my photo shoots. Um, I've taken her into all my offices that I worked in, even the ones out here that I've worked in. I've taken her to my camera shops, and she's only five, but she be with me, you know what I mean. And um, it's definitely humbled me, and uh, it made me valuable. And 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 on and on man time, I'm gonna let y'all know. Um, not having my kid for a week or two at a time, and then I'll have her for a week or two at a time. Uh, it's it's not the ideal situation because I, I want to always be able. I really wished from the bottom of my heart when I first made my kid, my intentions was to never have that situation. But now that that is my situation, um, selfishly, I can honestly say that I do value the time that I have to myself. Because uh, those are the times that I can get my shit together and work on things to get done uh, for myself. And I know her mom can equally say the same thing. Like, yo, all right, now that I don't got to wake up and make breakfast and, you know, worry about bedtime and all that stuff, I can work on my business or I can do this and I can do that. And I want dads and and moms, you know, I want parents to be like, yo, uh, don't feel guilt for taking care of yourself because... Uh, if you're not good, your kid not good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've taken some bold leaps, man, in the name of looking out for my kid, you know? Because people would be like, oh, you got a kid, you can't X, Y, Z. I'm like, bro, if you're not where you're trying to be and you got a kid, your best bet is to X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? That's your best bet. Because if you don't do it, I'm letting you know. It's going to be an L, my man. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm just looking at the world around me and I um and uh I'm realizing that I have to make sure that I don't lose myself in the name of trying to make sure uh my kid is good because that's a that's a really crazy like really hear me out that's a really crazy pendulum to catch yourself in it's like which came first the chicken or the egg it's like if I'm if I'm not if I'm not investing in myself in the name of saying like, oh, I'm a good parent. It's like, no, you're not being a good parent because you can't even adequately take care of your child in the way that you want to. So it might look crazy to some people. You know what I'm saying? It might look wild to some people, but if you have a village or you have the means or you have a daycare or something like that, like utilize it and fucking use that time to level up. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Use that time to, you know, play with your meat or nothing like that. It's like, nah, man, like in the name of my kid, I got to do X, Y, Z. Because if I do X, Y, Z, I can not only um, provide more, better, or different, I can also teach more, better, and different. You know what I'm saying? So um, I feel like in being Zuri's father, I'm, I'm really excited to like keep learning things and, and gaining more information about the world around me that I can teach to her. Because... Um, I got gems like shit from my father. My daddy taught me some wild shit just about navigating through the world and interacting with people. And I watched my dad handle street shit one way and this, that, you know what I mean? And um, now that I've got those skills from my dad, it's my personal responsibility to gain more skills. That way I can share those with my kid. You know what I'm saying? For Zuri's first, fifth birthday, um, she wanted to, we threw her at LOL birthday party. And LOL is like some doll shit that I don't know nothing about for real, for real. And I was like, uh, I was telling her, I was telling her about what the stock market was, and I was showing her the graphs. And she don't know what none of that shit mean, but she, you know, kids will pretend and they'll nod their head with you because they don't, they love, they love to be included. You know what I'm saying? So, me and her are looking at the stuff, and she's like, and I was telling her like, each one of these rows is a different company, and she's like, oh, what company is your company, Dad? And I'm like, all these ones are the ones that. I got I own because I own shares in these company and she's like what you own you own a company I said yeah man you buy some shares and you own a company do you want me to buy you a company she goes yeah man I would love for you to buy me a company I said what company you want to buy she goes lol <laughs> so so I looked up I looked up um lol and um the name of the company that owns them is like Magna Corp or something like that um let me see I'm looking at my my chart now. It's called yeah, Magna International Inc. They own LOL. So I'm like since you guys own LOL, uh I'm gonna get you five shares of this company for your fifth birthday. She goes, "Hell yeah." 
without saying hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? But she was with it, you know what I mean? She understood the concept. So, um, and now that was in March. And out of all of my investments, um, let me see if I can, I can see. All right. Yeah, so since I've invested in this, I've gotten a, a 9% increase from March to now on Zuri's um, suggested suggested investment. And it's, it's been my highest performing one. But I wouldn't have been able to do that with her if I didn't level myself up. I didn't know what none of that shit meant that I'm talking about in November. I had no idea. So I had no, I, I didn't have the game that was necessary to get her my kid. Now I got the game and she's five years old. And every time she see me on my stock market app now, she goes, how is my company doing? You feel what I'm saying? So I spent the time that I didn't have with her to learn something that now she'll be able to talk about for the rest of her life because she got hip to some game. You feel what I'm saying? And when I'm with her, I treat my kid with love and hugs and parks and kisses, man. Like that's my homie. And I treat her as such because as a dad, I want her to know what love feels like from a person that looks like me. You know what I'm saying? Because sooner or later, she's going to be in a world where she got to deal with men that look like me. And I want to be able to give her a really good gauge as to what her standard should be. You know what I'm saying? So that involves, you know, respecting women and yes ma'ams and no ma'ams. And, and I say all of that to say, if I'm trying to show her, because she don't give a fuck about what I'm talking about, she's going to copy what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. So she's going to copy what I'm doing. Let me level up. Let me, see, let, let me let you see me working out. Let me let you see me doing what I'm supposed to do. And now you can fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So now you can learn something. So that's what being a black dad is like for me. It's making me realize that, yo, the only way that I can lead this person to navigate through this wild ass world is if I'm good on my side first. I got to make sure that I'm good to teach her to show her, to navigate through her and help her, like help her really show, show her like through the things that motherfuckers don't show people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and get through to her the points that, um, not with my words, but with my actions through repetition and self-improvement. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you show me your company, I'll show you your future and what kind of company is your dad? And that's what I ask myself. You know what I'm saying? Because, if, if she's looking at me, I know that there's a certain scope of what she'll understand in the same way that that worked for me. And the outside world, of course, has its own, uh, has this has this impact on you like crazy. But I'm letting you know, for a finac, I am John Cook's son. Like, I move like him by accident. I look like him. Like, I'm that man's son. And even though me and him have different personalities and different, you know, ways we move through the world, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a younger version of him. Um... I watched that man and I unintentionally copied so many things that I didn't know that I was copying. And now that I'm aware of that dynamic between me and my father, I'm hyper aware of that dynamic between me and my daughter. So I still show her mom the utmost respect even though we aren't together. And I still let her know that like I don't point fingers and if I'm mad at her mom, I don't ever catch an attitude or talk about her mom behind her back or you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show her etiquette. So being a black dad for me is a responsibility that I'm really grateful for and that I feel like, um, you know, the world sees me and my kid and I feel like they get a little scared sometimes, man. It's like, whoa, she's beautiful. You're not rocking and y'all learning some wild shit. Yeah, man, you got to look out. You know what I mean? So.